the temperature staying below freezing for the next couple of days, shelters which care for the homeless are at or nearing capacity again as more people in need work to stay warm. Alex Love filed this report earlier. Throughout most of winter, the upstate New York chapter for Volunteers of America have kept all their rooms at each shelter occupied with families and single adults trying to stay warm and fed. We have blankets, we have clothing, whatever they need, we're able to provide them support thanks to many people in the community who either donate or they give to the Volunteers of America. During the week, we have three meals a day and on the weekend, we have brunch and dinner. Michael Deedy, who's in charge of housing services with Volunteers of America in Rochester, told us around 800 people are homeless in the city. Since many were kicked out of the Civic Center parking garage, shelters have been working to guide them to get a roof over their head and a bed to sleep in. It's very hard to think about how people are surviving out there. And we recently had an effort, a point in time effort, that Partners and Lean Homelessness ran to identify where homeless people are staying throughout our community. There's a few hot spots, and again, we tried to provide them some resources, some support, some referrals. The goal is to get residents of most homeless shelters out into a more permanent housing situation with work set up between 30 and 60 days. But there are rules they must follow with their case manager to stay in a shelter. We ask them to refrain from any use of illegal substances, alcohol, uh, there's no smoking inside the building. If we find that somebody's violating any of those rules, our first recourse is to connect them with the case manager because we don't want to kick anybody out of the shelter. And Alex, thank you very much.